do you know how to calculate internal rate of return in Excel? Let me show you how we can calculate that. So right now you can see we have year, different years, then cash flows and the description part. And I just want to calculate internal rate of return. So what we can do, we can use is equal to and we have the function that is IRR. Simply we can select the values or we can select this cash flows range and close the bracket we will get this IRR that is internal rate of return. So if the internal rate of return is greater than your required return for example I am just taking here 12% the project is financially viable and if you have irregular dates in your data set and you want to calculate internal rate of return in that case you can use another function that is XIRR is equal to XIRR simply you can select the values first then you can select the dates and close the bracket you will get XIRR that is your internal rate of return and where we can use these two functions like when you, we want to calculate SIPs, mutual funds, angel investments or real estate in this case we can use these two amazing functions if you like this video don't forget to share this video thank you so much for watching stop using excel the old way if you are still using microsoft excel without using ai tools like chat gpt and copilot you are already falling behind data entry pivot table they are just basic part of excel nowadays companies expect more from you like dashboard creation power query vb automation ai generated reports and much more if you want to learn from basic to advanced level you can join my 30 days excel crash course where i will teach you everything from formulas to automation by using ai tools like chat gpt and copilot if you want to enroll right now you can text me on whatsapp on this number i will just book your seat I have limited seats so you can just text me on whatsapp right now. Let's turn excel into your superpower.